Hello, Bobby here from Survival Existence. I've been out roaming across the countryside and I decided to stop and make me a cup of coffee. Today, I'm going to show you how to make hobo coffee. Welcome back to Survival Existence. Well, we've just come through about three weeks of below freezing weather and uh, seldom during the day getting out of the teens and predominantly at night getting in the single digits and all the way down to two degrees. As you can see, the lake out here is completely frozen over. In the more shallower parts, you can walk on without any problem. Of course, you get further out and the ice is thinner. But even with the dug blinds out here, you can tell that a boat hasn't even approached them because I'm quite sure they're having difficulty getting boats in and out of the water with all this ice. This is my get home bag. I almost always have it with me. I have a couple of bottles of water with me. And uh, carry a little coffee and of course my little stove I always carry with me. Of course a cup. And all I'm going to do to make this coffee, hobo coffee, As a matter of fact, I learned this from my grandfather. He uh, hoboed a little bit during the Depression. You can make coffee without it having to go through a filter. Of course, uh, having a filter is nice, and I have some here. I'm not going to fool with them. But, uh, it's not that difficult. to make your coffee without any kind of grounds or without uh, a filter to filter the grounds out. I'm going to start this uh, stove and get it going. Get it started heating up with some water to make some coffee. All I'm going to do is add water to my cup, let it heat up. And as soon as it heats up, I'll uh, add grounds to it. I need to reserve a little bit of uh, the cool water. So I'm going to pour some of it back in the bottle and I'll show you what it's used for as soon as the coffee is finished brewing. Now that the water is heating up, I'm going to uh, go ahead and add some coffee to this container. It's starting to get hot enough that uh, it can't brew. So I'm going to uh, add that coffee in and let it start to brew. As you can begin to see, I'm quite sure that the uh, water is just starting to boil a little bit. And while I don't want to uh, let the coffee uh, cook too terribly long, so it'll make it extra bitter, I do want it to uh, sit there and brew long enough to extract the, uh, the flavor from the coffee grounds. Now that this uh, coffee is beginning to brew, I'm going to turn 
the heat down just a little bit and let it just simmer just for about one minute in order to uh, get that goodness out of the coffee. Okay, now I've let this uh, coffee simmer for just probably under a minute. So I'm going to turn the fire off and then under it. And if you remember, I said I was going to uh, save a little bit of water in reserve. And what you do with this water is you pour just a little bit and on top of this coffee. And it's supposed to make the uh, settles ground, or so my grandfather told me. And it does. It doesn't get all the uh, grounds out, but no stretch of the imagination. But nonetheless, that's how you make hobo coffee. Well, here's the making coffee. Um, these cups are old military cups, aren't real comfortable to drink out of, but I don't keep an extra cup um, handy in my get home bag. I have one with a regular mess kit that I have down in the bottom of my pack and I'm not going to unpack it. It's not that important to me. This will serve the purpose quite well. Um, making coffee, you don't necessarily have to have a percolator, although it's nice to have, or a drip coffee maker, or it's nice to have. But nonetheless, you can still make coffee. It doesn't matter with your uh, items in your uh, get home bag. Ooh, that's still hot. Feels good on my hands. It's still a little bit too warm to grab and stay on there. But it sure does give me some heat out here. It's rather cool. It's in the uh, low 40s right now. And like I said, you can see all the ice is still out there. Uh, before long, there's supposed to be uh, another front coming in. It's supposed to warm up a little bit over the next few days. And uh, probably have a little bit of snow, maybe some sleet, and then it change all to rain. But it is going to warm up some in the middle of next week, probably about 60 degrees. Nonetheless, right now, this coffee is just what the doctor ordered. So if you're off wandering around the countryside like I am today, or backpacking in the woods, it's not that difficult to make perfectly good coffee. And this is pretty good coffee. This has been Bobby with Survival Existence, helping you make coffee. Come visit us at our website at survivalexistence.com. Like our videos and please share our videos. Good day.